Hi there, today I'm just going to run through digital inking in Illustrator using the brush tool. Um, I'm pretty much just going to run through my preferred settings for uh, drawing over a penciled line work. And um, yeah, I highly recommend that you have a Wacom tablet to do this, otherwise a lot of the settings probably aren't going to be relevant. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so first off I've pretty much gone ahead and placed in my scan of my pencils that I've drawn of this picture here. And I'm going to stick it on its own layer and I'm going to lock that layer off. I'm also going to double click the layer over in a blank space here and I'm just going to tick the dim images to 50% just so that the image itself isn't so intrusive over the line art that I'll be painting. Um, now I'm just going to add a new layer above that and this layer will be the one which we will be drawing our line art onto. Alright so next off we're just going to go and set up our our brush tool for um, so it's suitable for um, doing some digital inking. The um, default settings are actually quite um, quite silly really as in um, as you'll notice when you draw and draw a line if the line's still selected and you draw close to it it actually just edits that line and this is probably not what you what you're going to be used to especially if you've been doing digital inking or any kind of brush work in Photoshop because pretty much in Photoshop you just draw a line and you're away. So to stop it doing this what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our brush tool here and we're just going to double click on it and we're going to just untick a few, untick one thing which will stop doing this and that's that edit selected paths here. That's what's making the um, brush edit the selected line every time you go and do another stroke. So I'm just going to tick that off and that pretty much fix anything, everything. Um, all these other settings are pretty suited just to keep default. Um, fidelity just determines the amount of anchor points that are going to be put in your line. Um, the lower the value the more anchor points. Um, smoothness will smooth the line out but um, I tend to like to keep it at zero because that way you just keep the natural line which you are drawing. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and press OK. Um, now we're going to go and um, set up our brush. Um, the brush dialog box is usually found next to the swatches on the side and I'm just going to select this three point round one on the side here and I'm just going to double click it to bring up the um, brush options. Um, first off I'm going to change that to two point and I'm going to hit this little drop down thing here and change it to pressure. That way we'll get line variation depending on how hard we press our tablet pen down. Um, if you're doing this without a tablet you're not going to get line variation. Um, I'm also going to put the variation up to two points so we can get a really thin to thick line. So I'm just going to go ahead and press OK and we're away to the next step. Alright so if you're new to using a Wacom tablet you're going to find it's going to be a bit of a learning curve for you. Um, it takes a while to get used to using your tablet and um, drawing lines and such but uh, the more you do it the better you'll get at it. So pretty much we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to draw out um, the part of the scale here. And you'll notice that um, I'll get line variation depending on how hard I press the brush. So if I lightly touch it it's going to have a really thin line and if I press down it's going to go thicker. This is good to um, determine areas of where light will be showing more and a thicker line will probably determine where a shadowed edge would be. But um, yeah, pretty much just go ahead and draw out your, your picture. You don't have to be too fussy about it.
All right, so finished doing all the lines. Um, now I'm pretty much just going to um, merge all the lines together. I've um, filled in the large black areas of the pen tool because it's just easier rather than scribbling with the paintbrush. Um, so first off, I'm just going to uh, turn off the the pencil layer I've got underneath so we can just have a look at what we've done. And now I'm just going to select everything, go Control A. And to merge them all together, what we're going to do is we're going to come up to Object and just hit Expand Appearance, and then go Object Expand, and just hit OK. And then we're going to come over to our Pathfinder dialog box. If you can't find it on the side, it's found under Window Pathfinder. And we're just going to hit the Merge button at the bottom here, and they'll merge our shape, our lines into one single shape, like so. All right, so now we're just going to clean up the um, color information on this. Um, as you notice, our fill was reading question mark, which pretty much means that um, uh, there's some stray colors in there which do not match up with everything else. So what we're just going to do is we're going to come up to Object, Path, and Clean Up. And we're just going to hit OK, and that should fix it up. Um, they'll only fix up as long as you have you haven't used any like white f uh, fills or anything uh, yet. Um, the intention was that you're only drawing out black lines and black fill, uh, black fills. If you've gone ahead and um, gone and like drawn a white, for instance, if you've gone and drawn a white in here to try and cut that area out, um, it's going to mess up the whole cleanup process, and you'll just continue to get a question mark. The only way to do that would be to select the white with the white pointer tool and delete it out of there, so it's a um, pretty much a cropped shape and then go ahead and clean it up but yeah now we can go ahead and change the color of that if we really wanted we can make it pink or black or whatever white yeah whatever you want and uh, yeah that's pretty much it all right so let's see um uh, pretty much to run through on how to use the paintbrush tool to do your digital inking um it's entirely up to you whether or not you use the paintbrush tool or you just use the pen tool i I prefer to use a combination of the both. Um, I know a lot of people prefer the uh, cleaner look of the pen tool, but I find that's incredibly time consuming where compared to the brush tool and a Wacom tablet, you can just nut out one of these drawings in 10, 15 minutes, easy. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be, I'll post up a, uh, a part two to this uh, tutorial and um, pretty much I'll run through how to add color to this. Uh, I've got some pretty pretty nifty tips which people will find handy and uh, will speed up the whole colouring process and uh, yeah so keep a keep an eye out for that, um, subscribe, they'll come up in your feed if you do and uh, yeah have a good day